For any head chef, this would be a walk in the park. First order, two pigeon, main course, one venison, one brew. Okay, Where do the tickets go? Um, well, I just put them there, because we never really get enough to worry about it. Oh, fuck me. That's nice. <laughs> Who's doing what? Who's doing the fish? I'll do the fish. And what would you like to do tonight? Uh, I'll do venison. What I'm trying to say is, how the fuck do you organise your kitchen? Oh, well, Lee, you... take care of the hot starters, I'll do the cold starters, you do the fish, I'll do the meat. We we'll jump on the puddings together. Here, then Lee will stand here and I'll do this one. Right. And then just when when I'm not doing anything, then I'll just jump on and help him out. You know how to organise? Within reason. Within reason, OK, here we go. Where did you put Red Bard, Lee? With the first orders in, now I can really see what's going on in the kitchen. What was that? Oh, I just trashed a load of balls. You better send the bread first, don't you? Yeah, I'll just put them down. Yeah. Never mind fine dining. They can't even get the bread right. It's fucking awesome. frozen. Right. Get it back in the oven. Are the pigeons ready? Yes. We're about to put them in the bin because the bread's frozen, pigeons are cooked, and the fucking bread's not even out there. And if you toss that fucking cabbage once more, I'm going to ram up your ass, OK? Yeah. <laughs> Can we? Yeah. You know, everything you turn around, it. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Even when the kitchen's busy, you should be looking to get the starters out within 10 minutes of receiving the order. Thank you. Thank you very much. These poor souls have waited half an hour for the pigeon breast with mushroom ravioli. And that's not the only problem. Tim, you made a ravioli? Yes. It's burnt. Do right. you not taste that there? No. Smell it then. You honestly can't taste that burnt. But now, now you point it out. Yeah. Get that shit in the bin. This is really worrying. A head chef who can't even taste his own foods burnt. He's not going to win any prizes for his control of the kitchen either. And there's only two of them in here. Oh, well, it's one leak from chair. I need an egg for. OK, can you hear that? Can you hear? Oh, no, 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 come in. They're buzzing. They're buzzing in the background. That's the veg in the microwave that should have gone with the main course four minutes ago. Come on, Tim, get the fucking things out. For some, an hour's wait is just too much. Desperate to keep her staff costs down, Sue has got her hands full running the bar upstairs and seems blissfully unaware of the farce that's taking place in the basement. Kitchen's a disaster. A disaster beyond belief. The blind leaving the blind, and the left arm not knowing what the right arm's doing. And you want 50, 60 seats filled down there, and they've got 11 customers in for dinner and up to their eyeballs in shitter. I mean, real shit. Everything's going in these cutters. For some bizarre reason, they think that rings is the sort of ultimate oh, fine dining that. experience, but Superb. I don't understand what, what the hell's going on there. I don't know. All I know is I'm not making money. So I don't know what they're at or where they're coming from. Yeah. But it's Sue's business, and she should be in charge. Look at the fucking mess. Huh? I've never seen such hard work for 11 guests. No. Hmm? Doesn't make you feel good, does it? No, not really. It's one of the busiest nights of the year, Saturday at half term. So it's a perfect test. What is that? There are 106 customers booked. If they're happy, they'll spend an average of 30 quid each plus wine. And the glass house will take over four grand. But their biggest problem is coping with lots of orders. Fucking dumb fucks upstairs are up. That's what's with their arses. That's the second fucking call away from non-existent table. As well. Oh, well. kitchen. Neil did tell me when the pressure's intense, the kitchen collapses into chaos. And you know what? It's true. Someone answer me. Someone have a look in the oven. He ends up giving meals away. Things soon go from bad to very ugly. No, it's not fucking all right. Do our tell, yeah? Wham. It's full of fat. Some said it was horrible. It hasn't been trimmed. Fat. It's fat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Take it to Richard. Jay, get on the phone now. Find out where this fish was going. See if that's where going. The whole thing's gone pear-shaped. Everyone's running around like headless chickens, um, eye off the ball, and um, just a massive breakdown in communication. Fucking partridge, you've... <sighs> I need a bigger piece of sea bass, do we? We have a side door that, that's gone up and needs to come back, and that needs to be cooked some more. You want this fucking partridge yeah, cooking more? Sweet, sweet. For fuck's sake. I need yeah. another partridge, Claire. Yeah. Randall, have you just been reading the right check? 
It's really grim. My apologies, Chef. 36 have had their status. We've had the order in for 40 minutes? Yes. I'm glad I'll say. That's not good enough. Where's that big chef? Where's the big chef? You break your fucking balls and you really go for it. And you, and do you know what? I fucking why. Restaurant rescue. I'll tell you how you can rescue me in a restaurant. Fucking buy it off me. You fucking buy it off me, mate. Then you'll do me the biggest fucking favour you could. I think someone's about to piss his pants. I think he's just gone there. That's it. Check on. One totality zucca, one chicken plus chips for four kids, one crab, one and dive. To follow, one loin of pork, two chicken, and one rocket. Hey, hey. Uh, I need some chips for these chickens, yeah? Constant, too quiet. The only person I can hear now is Gary, and you're running the kitchen. Let's go. OK. Garnish, Blakey. <clears throat> Where the fuck's Blakey? Blakey. Look out the other window. What are you doing? They've all uh, five DR, yes. I need an answer, guys. No wonder Francesco's back in the kitchen. His you family are still waiting for their lunch. Really? Everything's out there now. Everyone's standing, staring at their food, and two people haven't got it. Come on. Come on, Steph, let's go. This is a fucking disaster. OK, chicken, how long? Stefano, how long? Chips. Uh, yeah. Do you know this is for the... This, right. It's for the boss's wife, you know that? Touch it. Right. If it's stone cold, yeah, get another one in. Hey, he owns the place, and I'm not going to serve that. Let's go. A lot for the chicken, Karen. Chicken. Uh, Ready? Let's go. Bring it together, then. Let's go. Nice knot this time. Send it. The food is late and cold. Stefano can't organise chips for a four-year-old. OK, right, come here. Just stop everybody, yeah? I mean, stop. Come here, you. Come here. Shut up. Shut up. I'm talking. That was a disaster. Complete disaster. The food standing, hanging around the past, nothing happening. And you're over there. And then just, you know, I'm sorry, but it's not good enough. You're not, nothing's coming out. OK? Stop now, OK? You take over okay. and see if we can pull ourselves together a little bit and get ourselves out of the shit, because in 15 minutes, this place is going to be the biggest shithole in Wales. You, shut it, OK? Back in your corner and listen to what's going on. Do you hear what I said? Yeah. Do it. Right, let's go. A little clear down. Yeah, clear down first. OK, Gary, you know where we are, yes? Yeah. And the brill. You decide exactly what you want doing in your mind. Two minutes yep. before you dress, you turn around and dress the brigade and tell them exactly what you want. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, one braised beef, one venison sausage, one brill, one tuna away. Where, 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 where? Let's keep it together. Hey, where's the team? And I don't want him back in here telling us we can't fucking do it again, OK? So, a bit of teamwork now, yeah? If he can't hear you, then don't screw him for that, OK? Because we're not a one-man band. Check on, two covers. One pigeon, one oysters, the follow one ribeye, one duck. Okay. Next to go, can you go with the scallops? One pork salmon, one bazola. And a salmon and yacht, please. Gary is a real arrogant little fucker, but at least he can speak, unlike Stefano, that can't even run a fucking bath, let alone a fucking kitchen. Any of the tuna bake first off you, please, Spike. And Blake, you got three chips, yeah? Yeah. We need three chips and one tomato yeah. salad, please. Wait. Yeah. Good. Well done. Good. OK, well done. Well done. Hey, hey main course, it's bloody difficult to get out like that, you know? Well done, yes? I drew in a few more people. How'd it go for you? I'm not worried. Well. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. I thought it went terrible. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Really bad. You really do have a problem talking to individuals, you know that? And today was a disaster. Yeah? I'm sorry. It really was a disaster. If you ever get your own restaurant one day, make sure you haven't got any more than fucking five seats, because you won't be able to manage, you know that? And so we've got to now work on this in the next couple of days and stop you being a cook and look at the important role of becoming a chef. There are two people in the dining room. Let's see if their lunch is as bad as my dinner. Almost everything seems to be deep fried, and the oil smells like it hasn't been changed for months. When you walk through the restaurant, the first thing you can smell is like a um, tainted sort of... Fried smell. Fried smell. Yeah. Almost a little bit like hospital food. Yes. 
Chef, why is there an anchovy fillets in the salad niçoise? It's like curry of the salad niçoise, but it's their own. But How many new potatoes around? Uh, only one. One new potato? Yeah. Fucking hell, for £9.50. Any olives? Uh, no. Nothing's ready here. No beans cooked, no eggs cooked. What the fuck is going on? Or are we just in the shit because we've got two customers for lunch? This kitchen is a nightmare. Mark was brought in to update the food, but I can't see what he's done. How can he get away with a menu like this? And how would you um, how would you describe the style, the food? Um, it's um, the, the 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 a la carte stuff that we do. It's very um, it's very much here's a steak and three sauces you can have with it. It's not a great it's not a massive detraction from what they were serving before here. And three sauces are what? Uh, brandy and mushrooms, Stilton and bacon, and a peppercorn. Jesus. Those three um, sauces sound a little bit Bernie-ish. Well, they are. I mean, this is the thing. It's a bit, it's a bit 1976. You can say that again. A little nuke sauce. Straight out the microwave. Stilton and mushrooms. It's an insult to cooking. Oh, in a bag. Damn. No wonder we need so many fucking microwaves. Hervé? Thank fuck, I'm not hungry. Sorry. Parsley? Hey, come on, it wouldn't be the same without parsley. Come on, get it on there. There you go. Good old Bernie. I know you love your parsley. And so far, they need a fucking rocket up their ass because if they continue the way they are doing now, it's going to go down like a sack of shit. And quite frankly, I don't think they actually care about customers. And every dining room needs to care about customers. Otherwise, they don't come fucking back. One, one prawn cocktail, two parmigiana, one soup. First table's in. So normally Alex goes like this. Jesus Christ. Then everyone gets really dizzy. First table. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Slow down, yeah? And I want to really make sure that you stay nice and calm, yeah? Yeah. But show some composure now, yeah? Absolutely. But the kitchen's only half the story. <laughs> For the evening to run smoothly, the dining room's got to be well managed by the maitre d'. Specials. Sorry, me. But the maitre d' is Alex's yeah, best mate. Okay. It's Gavin's first yeah, job as a restaurant so manager, and I don't think he's got a clue. We have like a couple of portions left. Very nice. I did have that for dinner before I started. Highly recommended. OK. It doesn't help that Gavin's supported front of house by Emily, Alex's girlfriend. The chicken was cold. It was 70 degrees when I broke it. What do you want to do? Anything? Nothing. It wasn't cold. Her only experience of serving food comes from seven years as an air hostess. That's why I probe everything. You are the maitre d', aren't you? You're running the place. But you've got to get some authority around. You know that. You've got to get some presence. Look at those peripheral rolls over there. That's how big your bollock should be. That big. Now, find them and fucking use them. Just a drizzle. Enough. Alex. Yeah. Nice and calm. Oh, yeah. I am, actually. Alex isn't doing too badly, but it's not long before Gavin's way out his depth. He should be taking orders now, though. No? Huh? What is he doing out there? Gavin's managed to get 60 people booked in for tonight, but he's allowed 40 of them to arrive at the same time. I think we're going to be in the shit in 10 minutes' we're time, you in a fucking dog shit. Huh? Any manager worth his weight should know he's got to stagger the bookings to keep a steady flow of orders coming into the kitchen. You okay now? Yeah. Yeah, good. You don't look it. Shit. Scrape off the little bit of overcooked bit. Yeah, okay. You put it up there and call it out. What? Call it out. What is it? Tell me what it is. Pasta. Okay, now here we go again. Never turned. Let's do another one. Under pressure, all Alex's bad habits come flooding back. He's all out of fucking order. First time in his entire career, he's actually had to cook properly. And it's pretty obvious he can't do it. Completely in the shit and lost it big time. Nothing together. And he's just clammed up and, and I've got a good mind to get that number plate off that fucking car and stick it up his ass sideways. Alex and Gavin are like two little boys playing at running a restaurant. I've never worked like this. I hate saying it, but so close to cowboys. Mm. You know that? 
Quit now. Yeah. Put the restaurant up for sale. I can't wait to see this team of jokers in action. All right, so we get going. They're hungry. Immediately, it's clear who's the mummer in this kitchen. I'm getting you a chili pepper because you ain't gonna. Yeah, no, just the one. <laughs> Can I take the seeds out at least? Sharita talks to them like they're her children, and she's the only one cooking anything from fresh. I need to start cooking up these fajitas now. Okay, Sharita, all of the seconds uh, part you in. All right, okay. Two potato skins, onion rings, cornbread, two pieces. Can I get some jambalaya heated up, please? For Brian and Aidy, it's just an elaborate heating and plating up exercise. Mountains of messy food, school dinner style. A D minus, must try harder. That's hot gravy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> on hot turkey. Yep. Serves on cold plates. Yep. With cold salad. Yep. It's first. <laughs> What's he laughing at? So this is serious. This is a... You weren't going to break sweat there, were you? Okay. Oh, you were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's about to kick off. When? There's twice as many staff as there need be. This should be an absolute breeze. But Sharita's yeah. killing herself, yeah. trying to do everything. We got everything in the basement, yeah? Everything's gone. Yeah, everything's gone. Shit. Paying two fully qualified chefs to dress and send a plate of nachos. Come on. That's a surefire way to break a business. Fucking hell, it's painful. Okay. Very, very painful. All right. Tonight, on several occasions, you're standing here cooking away in a world of your own. Yeah. And these guys standing there just almost playing with themselves mm -hmm. because they're waiting for something from you. If you are the head chef, yes. then you're going to have to start taking the reins. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try and get through a, a busy night without pissing your pants with laughter. Two hours pure concentration mm -hmm. without laughing. OK. And I bet you can't do it. I can do it. Are you fucking smiling already? <laughs> If there was ever a case of too many cooks, this is it. One of them will have to go. The pants cocked already. I said no smiling, no laughing. Okay. Serious. OK. It Set a fucking example. I'm going and to. Do not be scared to get rid of baggage. Scalpel. Shut up. Shut up. Tweezers. Forceps. As every plate journeys around the kitchen, each of his seven chefs adds another flourish. And all this unnecessary fussing is wasting time and money. Hurry up now. Yeah, all done. There's so many hands that are going on around the kitchen. The yeah. plate, is that normal for it to go around? Can they not finish anything? Then you just, my sauce. It's the same for the lobster, then you my sauce. OK. You put the plate under the grill and yes. I sauce, OK? Yeah. Service, please. Service. Up. One is missing. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, sorry. Up. Yes, yes. Oh, fucking hell. It feels like we've done 250. And all we've cooked in the last um, two and a half hours is um, 10. Service, please. One I minute. felt that I wanted to just say, stop. What you've got at the beginning was just enough for me. And prefer something more simple. Simple because the ingredients you've got uh -huh. are phenomenal. He needs to let his food speak for itself. His approach feels outdated and pretentious. Is it easier if we maybe cook a dish, uh -huh. uh, like cook the scallops and look at the difference and, and, and go through it together that way? Mm. Right, uh, what should we do? Scallops? Um, now, now. Whatever. Um, I've got a few things to do first okay. for the guests tonight, and I'll be with you. Mm -hmm. okay. If the restaurant was full, I could understand his arrogance. But it's hemorrhaging cash, and no one seems to care. It's almost like um, the barricades are up and you know, nothing's going to get through, because all I want to do is do the dish together and look at the different stages we're taking out to make it more appealing. But it doesn't seem to sort of sink in. I only want to be part of the team. Just let me in. Being hard ass is, you know, nice, but when you're in this situation with over-complex food and no direction, I'd fucking grab that kind of insight if I was in his shoes. The owner trusts me completely. I can do what I want, whatever I want. So it was a deal between us. A carte blanche on whatever I do. Louis behaving like a spoiled brat. So as a last resort, I'll try his brigade. Is there something you can, you know, work closely course, with Louis? Yeah? 
cannot make the food too complex. You can help us as well, I'm sure. I want to help. Yeah. Definitely. Let me fucking in. Yeah. Yes? First, I'm going to tackle the language barrier. I'm going to have to get you speaking fluent Scottish. Dirty wee bastard. Dirty wee bastard. No, too far. Dirty wee bastard. <laughs> it's getting there. Dirty wee bastard. Sorry? It's fluent in Scottish now. All right. <laughs> so when someone upsets him in the high street... Dirty wee bastard. Or oh, piece off. Oh, <laughs> piece off. No, piss off. Piss off out of my way. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, uh, fucking hell, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fucking hell, yeah.